Hi ladies! Today we are going to talk about your brand persona. Um, hopefully you guys all already watched the PowerPoint video that I put up. Sorry there's no audio. Tried to figure out how to do that. Yeah, not so into the technology. Okay, so I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about how I decided what my brand was going to be for Posh. I wanted to take a look at this and these are the colors that Posh uses in their products and their branding and the fonts and um, I just thought about what interested me what was I passionate about and I made two lists one side was attributes about me things that I thought were positive, things that I thought spoke to me. And then the other side was about Posh and the positive things that I saw or that I thought about Posh. So um, for me, I put, you know, I feel like I'm a positive person. I try to be, I am fun, I love Posh, I, um, I'm very passionate about the take time for you, and um, I try to have really good customer service for my customers and want them to think I'm the best consultant ever, so I do everything I can to um, provide them with what they need. And then the posh side is, you know, about being positive in your life and about taking time for you, and if you can take time for you, then you will be more available to everybody else in your life. So I kind of liked the idea of positivity and sort of brightness and fun and kind of keep it light with my personal brand. And um, Nora uh, sent me, who is on our team, well, or on Kathy's team, um, sent me a note card that said this, and I loved it. Anything is possible with sunshine and a little pink. And I thought, oh my gosh. It's a quote by Lily Pulitzer, the fashion designer person. Um, that spoke to me. It was so perfect. Pink, poshy, sunshine, bright, happy. Um, and so I wanted to take that and somehow turn it into my brand. So I decided with these that the pink, yellow, and orange are sort of bright, sunshiny, warm colors. So I was gonna focus on using those colors in my brand, and then I also kinda love these colors, so I use those as an accent. And if you don't know, I have an art background, and so there's a little bit of color theory involved in there without getting too technical. Um, maybe I'll go over that later. But anyway, so I already had business cards, okay? These are my business cards, yellow, pink happy and so I thought okay well I don't have to get new business cards these can totally fit into my brand my new brand and so I thought well how am I gonna take this and make it mine because this is probably copyrighted I don't know and so I came up with um, all you need is sunshine and a little posh so it kind of keeps it light and it's positive it has the sunshine in there and it has posh and it can get pink. And um, then I narrowed it down to sunshine and posh. Happiness and posh. Um, so that's how I kind of came up with what I'm doing. So I'm gonna focus on stuff in my parties, graphics, things like that, that are coordinated with the colors that I've chosen. And I'm just gonna stick with that. And all my little personal notes that I sign to or that I send to customers, I'm gonna sign Sunshine and Posh, Holly. It's a little cheesy, but it will get them to recognize that that is me. So I want you, your homework is to find this, and I will post the link, fill this out, look through, figure out what you wanna do in here that will help you with your marketing, and I want you to come up with your own personal brand. And I want you, that's your homework. So you need to create a Facebook group page if you want, a VIP page. Somehow um, incorporate all of that. 
So let me know if you guys have any questions, but I just wanted to let you know that that's what I did and how I created my own brand. And I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with.